Before you can edit or format your text, you need to highlight it. Highlighting the text is a way of telling Word that you want to work with a certain piece of text. Highlighting is also referred to as selecting. The simplest way of highlighting text is to position the cursor where you want to start highlighting, click and hold the mouse button down, and drag to the position where you want to end the highlight. Notice that it's not essential to drag across every single line that you want to highlight. It's sufficient to go in a straight line from the start to the finish. To deselect your text and remove the highlight, click anywhere in your text. The flashing cursor will reappear. Another simple way of highlighting text is to select the entire document. This is done with the Select All command. In Microsoft Word 2007, the Select All command is found in the Editing group of the Home tab. Click to obtain the drop-down menu, click on Select, and then choose Select All. The Select All command is found in lots of programs and lots of environments. It can also be accessed via the keyboard using Control A. That is to say, hold down the Control key while typing A. As well as highlighting characters by dragging across them, Word also allows you to select lines. To do this, position the cursor in the margin, and you'll notice that the cursor changes to an arrow pointing to the right. Once the cursor has changed, you can simply click to select a single line, or click, hold down the mouse button and drag to select several lines. Another way of highlighting text is to click multiple times. To highlight a word, double-click on the word. To highlight an entire paragraph, click three times on the paragraph. Now let's turn to options that use the keyboard. Most of these options involve using the Shift key. One such technique is Click, followed by Shift Click. To do this, Click to mark the start of the area that needs to be highlighted. Next, hold down the Shift key and click to mark the point where you want the highlighting to stop. All text between the two clicks will then be highlighted. Now let's look at techniques which rely entirely on the keyboard. To use these techniques, use the cursor keys on your keyboard to position the cursor where you want your highlighting to start. To highlight character by character, press the right or left arrow, depending on the direction that you want to move in. To select line by line, press the down arrow or up arrow, depending on the direction. To deselect text, Move the cursor in the opposite direction. To remove the highlight completely, press any cursor key without the Shift key held down. The Shift key can also be used in conjunction with the Control key. For example, beginning at the start of the document, if we hold down Control shift and press the right arrow, you'll notice that we select word by word instead of character by character. Similarly, if we press Control shift and the down arrow, we select paragraph by paragraph. As well as using the cursor keys, you can also use home and end. For example, if our cursor is positioned in the middle of a line, pressing shift and home will select from that position to the start of the line, while pressing shift and end will select from the cursor position to the end of the line. Again, as well as using shift, we can use control shift. Control shift home will select from the cursor position to the start of the document. Control shift end will select from the cursor position to the end of the document. One final technique worth mentioning is the use of the control key in conjunction with the mouse. This enables you to make a discontiguous selection, in other words a selection that has gaps. For example, if we want to select these two headings, we drag across the first to select it, hold down the control key, and drag across the second heading. You'll notice that the two headings are then selected, but the text between them is not. We can then format them
and none of the other text is affected.